chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. So finally, the long-awaited video, how to fail the bench press safely if you don't have a spotter or a safety rack or anything like that. So a few things we're going to discuss, a little bit of precursors before we get into this. If you are one of these guys who does not train legs, train back, if you neglect your posterior chain, generally speaking, this isn't gonna be good for you. So to do this requires really, it's more about back and leg strength than it is about any chest strength. Because when you fail the bench press, your chest technically speaking has failed you. So you don't wanna rely on that to get it off of you. It's better to have a spotter or have a rack with safety pins in place, but that's not feasible for everybody. And the other thing, I know if you get a spotter a lot of the times, they ruin your set. They'll do half the work for you, right? If you struggle at all, they'll take the weight. And I know you guys might've seen other videos where guys will not put clips on the barbell and they'll just kind of dump it on both sides to get it off of themselves. You can do that, but fundamentally that's not safe, okay? If you're in a busy commercial gym, right? You could hurt somebody else or yourself. Even if you have a home gym, you've got pets, little kids running around, it's a pretty big risk. And the other thing, if you don't have clips on the side of your barbell, even if you're benching normally without failing, the weight could start to shift, which could lead it to fall off anyway. So I just don't think that's optimal. And if you guys want more videos like this, be sure to join the Gain Train and subscribe. Before we get into the actual bail technique itself, we need to discuss probably the most important thing here, which is bar positioning. Do you guys see how the bar is kind of like right at the top of my rib cage. It's kind of like right in that dividing line between the top of my rib cage and my lower pecs. That's where you want the bar. If you are bench pressing like up here, right? Up like doing a guillotine kind of press or if your shoulders tend to flare, your elbows are flaring out really far, this is not going to work. Okay, the entire precursor for this to work is correct bench press form. And that's the whole point of the nipple line, guys. If you lower the bar to like your lower chest, you're not gonna wheeze to death, right? It's touching that kind of bone part of your upper rib cage, okay? So the bar can't really hurt you in that sense. It's not like it's going to constrict your air or anything like that. So lower the bar down, we have it stuck here. Now, big thing here, do not freak out, mentally speaking, okay? Don't like flop around. What I'm going to do first, do you notice my wrist positioning? My wrists cannot be back like this, do you see? You need to have your wrist in a straight line, more so like this. If your wrists are too far back, again, it all leads back to the bar rolling towards your face. We want the bar to be rolling towards your legs out that way. But get the bar down. What I'm gonna do first is roll it forward. So I'm going to kind of roll my wrist forward and shift my back upward. So basically the bar is going to go from my nipple line, so to speak, into my lap. This is where the posterior chain work becomes so important because if you have weak hamstrings, weak glutes, weak upper back muscles, it's gonna be hard for you to finish from this point. You're going to get a good squeeze on the bar like you're doing a deadlift or something. And you're basically gonna do like a half hack deadlift. It's kind of a weird thing, but you're going to engage your glutes, keep your back tight, keep your core tight. You're going to stand up with the bar. Stand up with it, lock out, keep your glutes tight, keep your core tight. And then from there, you're gonna simply just Romanian deadlift the weight back down. And that's it. It's that simple. Really the hardest part of this entire thing is just to get in that position and not to mentally panic. Because if you panic, you lose your tightness, your wrists start to flop, your head's flopping around, you have a high likelihood of letting the bar roll back into your neck. Think about this entire time, no matter what you do, you want the bar to go forward toward your feet, not backward toward your face. Now again, guys, this, you see, this is very fast. This isn't something that it's like a long drawn out process. You know, people, you can do this without people even noticing for the most part. And I know some of you might be, you know, embarrassed. You know, I don't want people to see me failing. It's like, look, man, you're, if you're gonna fail a bench, you're gonna fail a bench, okay? All right, so let's recap our steps. Lower the bar, it should not be on your sternum. It should not be up on your shoulders. The bar should be on your nipple line at the top of your rib cage, right, right about here. From that point, push forward, Kind of tilt your body forward, keep your core braced, engage your glutes. You're going to basically just sit up with it, okay? And again, if you are doing rows, deadlifts, squats, pull-ups, heavy compound movements for your posterior chain, you will have the strength to do this. And then from that point, just lower it back down like you would on a deadlift or one of the deadlift variations. So that's it, guys. It is not that complicated. And as you can see, it's very fast. This isn't something that's like a long drawn out process. This is faster than dumping the weight off both sides, right? Keep a good mindset, okay? Don't panic. Because you guys know when you're gonna fail a bench, right? That moment when you're like, oh God, it's coming down. That's fine. 
If you know this is in your arsenal, it's gonna be much easier for you mentally than if you're just gonna sit there and flail and be screaming out for help, right? And you don't have a spotter with you at the moment or you don't have a safety rack with pins in it, you're gonna be good, all right? So take your posterior chain strength seriously and your bench press will be safe forever. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys would like to see next and I will catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.